Welcome back to another YouTube video. I hope everybody's doing well and everybody's having a great time. You join us in a bit of a predicament. Um, our sofa lifts up. So all Hallie's larger clothes are stored under the sofa, which we're organising now. And Hallie's there. And we're going on a trip. So our suitcase is getting packed just now. That's obviously my suit there. So we're actually in the middle of packing, as you can see. Grace, as you can see, Grace is quite stressed, trying to organise it all. As obviously it is quite complicated to get all of this right. And I'm like the mummy of the group because I have a child. Yeah, and we also need to sort out our house as we have a friend staying in our house. Apologies, I'm going to adjust this mic. Um, we have a friend staying in our, in our house that's going to look after one of the dogs and our cats. Um, and Maya's going to go to my parents. As she's quite a, a hard dog to look after. You really need to know what you're doing with her. Um, so, we're packing just now. It's funny enough, it's, you know... It's 12 past 9 at night, if you can see that, um, on the 14th of December, and we don't leave until the 5th of January. So we're just wanting to get everything sorted just now, but as you can see, should we give some random people a shout out? Because they text me. There we go. Random people that have texted me. There we go. Random shout out. That'll do for just until um, my family give me my clothes for Christmas. Yeah, so we're just packing some stuff just now because we like to be really very in advance prepared, um, which we're getting there. Um, and I'm sorry, Hallie's going out because she's gone up inside. Yeah, that's what I was just saying, that you're in the middle of doing that. She's growing. We're going to call. That's a good thing. I mean, yes, but... Are you okay there, darling? Hi, Millie. Millie's just scampering behind the bag. Oh, there she is. So obviously the house is a bit of a mess at the moment because we're trying to do all this. But that's part of living in a house. Things are going to get messy. Um, our trip in January is going to have a lot of filming involved in it. Um, we're going down in the pickup truck, so there's going to be a lot of filming in that. There's going to be a lot of filming here, there and everywhere. And Grace says there's some kind of surprise for me that I don't quite know about. She said it's something to do with because my birthday's in the 3rd of January. She's doing something for me on the 5th, but we're going down for our wedding um, on the 6th, so that's really all I know, genuinely, at the moment. Um, but we're just getting organised and I like to be very, very prepared, because I get quite nervous if I'm not prepared. So she's making me sort through all her clothes because she'll, she's, she's still fixing zero to three, but just... I'm determined to keep her in them, but I'm going to have to eventually well, let her out of them. Grace, so. I've got to also admit, you've sat in the remote. We were I actually... I lifted a bag off the remote. Oh, apologies. We were actually watching Squid Game there. A little bit of music wouldn't hurt anyone. Grace, if you could do me a quick favour, because I'm filming and lift Hallie up. Oh, she full of Yeah, she does that. Just because I've got the camera in my hand at the moment. If you could just quickly... What you deal with gigalots over there. What you did you work when you shit your suit? But Hallie does that. Um, but yeah, like I said, oh. I like to be very prepared. I'm going to move some girls. <laughs> I like to be very prepared, I like to do things quickly, I have them packed well in advance so then when it gets to the time you know there's no stress, you're not jumping about like a headless chicken, you're just, you know exactly what's, what's going on. So the suitcase will be packed, most of the camera gear that I'll need will be packed. The only problem we're having at the moment is we don't know what size nappy she'll be in because she's growing clothes size, she normally grows nappy size at the same time, so we might have to pack the nappies now but then change them because we don't know if she'll gone up a size or not very true and can i also just add because i only just noticed this my camera has a screen protector does it i kid you not if i angle my camera you'll see it glinting oh my fucking god so yeah my camera Sorry. has a Screen protector, they would never have heard that. My camera has a screen protector on the screen that I didn't know. Um, so yeah, we're just trying to organise all this just now. We've oh literally just had our dinner. Lily's She's eating the rest of it. Is she? Oh my god, is she? Oh my god, this will be the cutest one on earth if she does. And it's got the wrong name on it, but... The camera's still pointing at you, Chris. I'm trying to... This is gonna fit her. I can't even see. That's what Trisha got us. What does it say? It says L on it. Because my camera, brand. my camera unfocused. It's a brand. Well, that's a bonus. So yeah, 
House is a bit of a mess. I'm packing. Grace is sorting Hallie's clothes. And yeah, we won't be going until the 5th of January. There'll be a lot of filming. It'll be really good. We've got a lot of things lined up. Um, that it's going to take quite a lot of filming. And Grace keeps telling me about a surprise that she's got. And I tried to search for her phone to find out what it is she's up to, and I couldn't find it. Um, but she did say potentially. I don't know. Can you deal with that quickly? Potentially, it's got something to do with me meeting someone I want to meet, but I don't know who that is because quite a lot of the time I want to meet a lot of people. Isla, what are you doing, silly? Stay there. Um, Isla's in there just now because she's got a tendency to just to run across everything um, because she's a bit stupid. But yeah, Grace said potentially my birthday's going, going to involve me meeting someone. I don't know who that is. Normally I want to meet quite a lot of people, so I don't know what she's got cooked up. Um, but I do know we're going to a wedding of one of her family members. So yeah, I'll see you when we've got all this rubbish sorted and everything's looking well, as you're able to see... My suitcase is gone, I've packed. Are you serious? Grace, on the other hand, probably what, yes. week to go and you'll be there? No, this man, it closed eye. Hi, Hallie. Quit your Hallie. Job. Come with me. Ha ha. She's watching I, oranges on a block. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. Yeah, because she's going to remember. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, but yeah, Grace is just oh, fiddling with clothes and making more of a mess. I'm done. Sort it. Per usual, I'm done. No faffing about stuff in the suitcase. I'll even show you. So, that's my shoes that I wear, and that's some zip ties and lights that's something to me in a onesie. And these shoes Grace has got wet. What's that? Right there. Suitcase, JVC bikes full of camera gear. Yes. So, there's camera batteries right there. Um, uh, where are they? There. And there's a plug there. So that's coming with me. And the bike pump. Aww. So that's it. And then there's just helmets. So, okay. I'm done. Grace though. I'm nearly there. Turn around. Yeah. Nearly there. Oh, that's what's fucking inappropriate. I like the way you oh. phrased it. Oh, see if you help. You could remove my father's t-shirts and go to bed in my drawer. I don't know what any of the shit is, Grace, so it's not even worth me touching. At where I normally sit are my father's t-shirts. Before we end up getting in an argument on camera, I'm going to let you guys go. I'm going to deal with this and we'll see you either later tonight or we will see you tomorrow, depending on whether, whenever I film. Welcome back Here's to another YouTube video. I don't know why I'm saying that because this is a clip. Apologies. Excuse me, excuse me. When are we going on holiday? When I say we're going on holiday, I mean... Me. Why? When are you going on holiday? I'm going on holiday. You're leaving me with Harley. I am, yeah. I'm going on holiday. Where? And it means I have to go on an airplane. Where? It's a plan me and my father have, but I will discuss off camera. I don't know why I said welcome back to another YouTube video. It's not another YouTube video. It's a clip from yesterday. Uh, obviously, you can already see everything's considerably better. I was cleaning this all this morning. Everything's considerably better, and I think our kitchen is significantly better. But I was in B&Q this morning, um, as our kitchen is getting redone. We're redoing it. Uh, but yeah, I just thought I would join these back in on what was going on. But no, it's not a new YouTube video, this is just another clip. Apologies. Bit of a brain fart. I was going to say, I don't even remember the what in the world was my lens doing. What are you doing? I don't know what was happening there, my screen was flickering. Uh, I can't even remember what the last thing I posted was. But obviously, there's Grace there with Harley enjoying the dancing of the fruits. Hi, baby. So I'm not really sure what the last thing I, um, or what the last clip was, but this is another day of just working out what's going on. I was like, I can Trying see, to make our house a home. I can see a cat over there. This just will not focus. There we go. No, oh, no, there we don't go. Still won't focus. Still won't focus. They give up. There's a cat there. Um, but yeah, I like that. Trying to make our house a home is pretty much what we're doing at the moment. What about you? Yeah, it's getting my soul. The only thing I have at the moment is that we don't have a tumble dryer. I'm really tempted to put one under the bar stool. Bar stool? Bar bit. So, but we have to use clothes rail. But Robbie broke our clothes rail by sitting on it. That's not true. I said to Grace one day that the clothes rail is just leaving. Ah, and then sat on it. 
<laughs> so now it's been held up by a screw in my bedroom. But still, it's funny. Um, if you can't tell, that's my bed over there because my dog's having a phantom pregnancy. So I have to sleep out here with my dog who's down there licking herself. Um, so yeah, he join us on another I don't know what we're doing day. I'm kind of just chugging along. I mean, at the end of the day, the weather outside, I'm not sure if you can see that from here, but the weather outside is just, it's... It's a bit hectic at the moment because I'm trying to get crap. through the washing, but then when I go through the washing, I need to watch out for what size clothes they are because she's changed from clothes. And then I'm trying to find clothes for us to go away. Plus I'm waiting for Christmas because I'm getting clothes because none of my clothes fit me anymore. Pets wind in Robbie's trackies. Ugh. And I've got like a washing towel that, that size to get through. And a 55 kilogram washing machine. <laughs> Six kilogram washing machine, can I add? Five. Six. She's gonna come back and tell you that it's sex. But she says it's sex. Fuck you. What was it? Actually, it's a one to six, so you got it wrong. Is it sex? It's a six one to six. You're one to six kilograms, am I right? Six kilogram washing machine. Not very big, but it works for us. By the way, there's nothing wrong with Harley. She's just having a moan because she likes to be set up, but she had a poo explosion in a sitting up chair, so she can't sit in the Yeah, which is there. Um, but yeah. I can't remember what the last clip I filmed was. You it joined was me us on this. About you and your dad going away. I'm gonna pick this up. Oh yeah, that me and my dad are talking about going on holiday to do something, which is fun. Um, that'd be a big YouTube video. I mean, you would be talking about well, probably three-hour-long video because it would be it would be probably it would probably be a week-long trip. And I'll be sat here with two devil dogs, two devil cats. But tracks, you could do you could do a lot a of you could do a lot of filming yourself and post a lot of content. You really think I'm a picker camera up by myself? Your phone. Hi! Just film on your phone and do a whole bunch of recording and then send it to me, I'll edit it and post it on YouTube. It means even more videos. It's a bonus. I've got a TikTok, TikTok then. That one with a just track. TikTok. Just do TikTok. I'd quite like to figure out how to do TikTok, but I just I, don't know. Like, I just, I go on what videos I hear loads of times, so like, at the moment there's one going around, like, it's all Christmassy, but there was one going around of jealous jealous girls and that was really popular so i posted something of that <laughs> i can see you ayla ayla down so you just go off what's popular at the time what you well, see loads and loads of yeah but that's kind of like youtube because something i was doing was i was watching quite a lot of youtube videos to try figure out what got views and different things like that but then just out of the blue i happened to watch one of my videos my own video and i was like oh no i would watch this like this is something I genuinely enjoy. Like this is kind of spot it on. Nice. Like, so, like, I watch. There's two people. One that lives in a van, and there's one that used to be on this like kids YouTube channel, but she's grown up and she does a lot of day in the lives and that. And I look, I watch a lot of them. But I like that because I think in quite a lot of YouTube scenarios, a lot of the YouTubers just kind of fake it, fake it till you make it, it's and it's all this, you know effectively shite yeah, where like this is more this Facebook. is just our life that you get to live Who's with the us one that did the squid game? mr beast yeah think of him he's made multi-millions of pounds oh, probably multi billions i don't know i don't know he's have probably a billionaire on paper like multi-millions and all his shit is rubbish i hate him well like, i wouldn't i wouldn't no, necessarily no, no, like no clout i wouldn't say he's a bad person if you like him you like him. i wouldn't necessarily say he's rubbish because the man gets I, 500 million I views Old videos. Yeah, yeah, but if you look at his really old videos, that's when he was just doing anything to get views because yeah. he had found out a way around YouTube. And, and now like, he's you know, doing things like let's recreate, recreate Squid Game. Let's give someone five hundred thousand dollars. It's pretty cool. Now is he's very fuck you. I have money. He's very like that. Every video must include a massive amount of money. Yeah, but that's because it gets views and it's seen yeah, as he's given back. He's but really see if you look cocky. at the Florent I can't even say he's that. He's really cocky. Floranthropy though. side. I can't even say it. If you look at his generosity side, like oh, outside of YouTube, yeah, the man's got food banks, he goes across the world building wells, and he does a lot of that not even on YouTube. No, I know he does a lot of like, like it's bad pretty cool. Scenes, but it's just like how he acts on the camera, he's really cocky like me and him, we just act how we do in normal life. Yeah, but it gets views, see if you're sitting there going, Hi guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. 
like it gets views because people feel the energy where this isn't energy this no. is vlogging no not that's like, the thing not i'm not creating like i'm not creating a game show it's like it's like case and logan paul they do man up in as well because they're really cocky because they've got prime they're really cocky well see i like case and what mr i'm Beast, not sure about logan paul i, I don't mind case i logan paul does man up and he always has even when he was younger and like mr beast he's got his chocolate bar didn't he Oh, he's got Feastables, he's got Beast Burgers. Like, Probably good on him for making that. the money, but there's no need to be so cocky, because there's people out there, like me and Robbie, that are trying, but we can't quite get to that standard yet, and that could put a lot of people down. Like, there's probably people out there that don't even do it, and are just... Okay, well, I'm I'm going to blow my own trumpet. I've got fucking loads of money. Well, yeah. Loads, I'm having, I'm, having, I'm having an absolute blast of life. Yeah, but that's not from um, YouTube, that's from other stuff. Mm -hmm. Which I'm not going to get into, but I've got, I've got plenty of money. No, like, it's, it's. I do YouTube not to make money. Which I'm not going to lie. I want to make money. Like, let's be brutally honest. I want this to work and start to make money. Um, but I don't need it. Like, let's just clarify that. And I don't need it. Every single thing I've ever bought to do YouTube with is out of my own pocket. Um, but I would love to get paid and then I would start doing a lot more like if I let's for talking sake made 250,000 pounds in a year off of YouTube I'll donate 100 grand to charity I'll donate and, I'll, and I'll make it public I'll make it blatantly known that I did it I've receipts and everything I've always donated to charity like in my school they did a food bag thing and my family aren't the richest they're quite poor to be fair but Everyone else brought like one or two things. I brought a whole shop of food bank things in for people. Yeah. And like, even though that's not a lot, that means a lot to someone. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. But I mean, like, if YouTube was paying me, um, like, if I started to make money off of views and stuff like that, I would be quite happy to give back money. But it would, oh, it would also open up a world of better contacts, fun people to hang about with better video ideas plus I actually enjoy filming it's that's not just a way I'd to make money is I'd love to you know that country that's trying to rebuild itself that sounds really bad I see a lot of it so I, I don't know what the country's called but I'd love to go there and um, volunteer yeah and especially if YouTube was working and for talking sake I would even we were I no, I want to vlog it but, but say YouTube was working and for talking sake we were making a quarter of a million pound a year well, we can take that money and do a lot with that. I'm not going to deny it because I'm not that kind of person. That money will go to things for me as well. Like, I'm not going to deny it. If I'm sitting here vlogging all the time and I make a quarter of a million pound a year, it's highly likely I'm going to buy some stuff for myself. But I will donate a hell of a lot of money. I'll make it public. I'll make public receipts. I'll make it blatantly obvious that I did it. Not for clout. I don't care about the clout. Just so people don't go, oh, you didn't do it. No, mate, I did. Like I've got absolutely, I, I love donating to charity. You see me all the time. We go into Asda and stuff like that, I'll donate to all the charity people. It's we like, go past people, homeless people in the street, I'll buy them a sandwich. I don't will always be raised to help, like, she'll always be raised not to give homeless people money and that's nothing against homeless people but there are some people faking it. Well no, I, just I, 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 I disagree but with that, I don't I think agree. it's just that, I think there's homeless people out there as well that sadly suffer from addiction yeah. and things like that and they can't put the money to good things but you can give them good things to help them get away from that addiction blankets. food blankets different things like that even if you can afford it give them a hotel room for a night yeah. you know that's that's a positive some homeless people not all it's just some homeless people have addictions and they can't get away from that and they end up blowing the money so on 18 plus stuff that they shouldn't be doing. I met a guy here and he was an ex-army guy and he got released because his arm got, it, no his leg got amputated and he was a lovely guy but council wouldn't give him a home because normally the navy give them or the army give them money when they're released. It's they called did, a pension. Yeah but the, he didn't because he got released on a certain sanction but I can't say the word. Sanction. Yeah, so he doesn't get his pension until he turns, I don't know what age, I can't remember. Probably but he was, five or something. He kept asking for money, I went, hey mate, instead, instead of money, do you want to come into the co-op with me and we'll go get you some food? And we did, and I bought him food. Like, it's not hard. Yeah, I because get that. Because the only way, that you know, like, see if it's someone faking it, they won't take the food off you. Yeah, because I mean, don't. something I'd quite like to do, and I've spoken about this before, but I would love to get companies involved, sponsors and different things like that. That's dead. Thanks. Um, but I'd like to get companies involved and sponsors involved and the council involved 
and I would love to shut down Helmsworth Square like they did for the carnival. Yeah. I'd love to shut down Helmsworth Square and put up as many gazebos as we possibly could and invite oh. out all the elderly homes to have a Christmas dinner in the middle of the square with I'm fire pits, different things like that, the Christmas tree, the lights. You know I'd, I'd absolutely love to do that. There's a couple of girls in there that lost their daughters. Yeah. Um, and they kept asking me to come for Christmas dinner with them with Hattie. But like, I don't mean, I don't mean just one person. Well, like, I mean, like no, no, no. I mean, like, <laughs> multiple <laughs> homes. I mean, homes from all the way from Glasgow to Dunoon or even further. Get as many, many, many gazebos as we possibly can all along the road. Even if we could get like a massive bring thing. all the elderly people, all the people that have lost someone, people that are struggling, bring them all down and all the food's free. Nobody needs to pay, no entry fees, none of that. Have businesses sponsor food. Have caterers sponsor catering and dishing out. Have gazebo companies sponsor the gazebos. I'd love to do that. And if I blow my own trumpet here, just a tad, I have already looked into that in the past and I could do that. I could have quite a lot of people help. Yeah, because you know um, the council, yeah? yeah, I do. And, and, and you have your own budget, I, so you're not going to struggle. And I know a lot of people that we could speak to and organise that, but at the end of the day I would also like to have a significant more money because I'd like to buy everybody a gift. I'd like every single person to receive a couple of gifts at the table and you know because some people I've met some people with dementia that still actually believe in Santa because they don't they, they can't remember and that's not their fault that's great fantastic I'd love to have a Santa an actual Santa and get a sleigh get reindeer build a sleigh on some kind of sled thing with wheels and get reindeer and make it all absolutely magical snow machines like the whole shebang that's what I would genuinely love to there's do a guy, there's a girl up in where my mum works and um she um, she used to train collies, and every time I bring my dog, and not that one because she doesn't like people half the time, but that one, she um, she always goes up to her and goes, "Oh, can I train her? Can I train her?" I go, "Yeah, go ahead." Even though she's fully trained, I just go, "Yeah, go ahead if you want to train her." Well, it's not just that the, the woman has quite severe dementia and yeah. doesn't remember that she would struggle with that. But Ayla is the calmest dog in the world that would happily let anybody train her. Ella's fully trained. That's why it's kind of a bonus because as that woman is attempting to remember how to train, well Ayla already is trained so she's understanding the commands and it, it puts a smile on the woman's face as I have a friend of mine, a personal friend, that's in a home just now. I'm not going to disclose the home or anything like that or her name. Um, but I went up there to see her and it was absolutely lovely to see her. And we brought Ayla in and we brought Hallie in. Hallie is there. Um, and that woman ended up phoning my mum and saying she had a lovely, lovely time with me. And that's what I like. I like to see the elderly still a part of the community. Because in a lot of places it feels like you forget about them. Yeah. The homes aren't getting involved in anything. You feel like they're non-existent. That's why I was for Thingy, but sadly he passed away but he was a lovely man. I mean it's not just that. I think in, in some homes, and I'm not going to disclose any homes or anything like that, but in some homes, you can be paying upwards of £1,800 a week to be staying there. A week and get, and I'm going to swear here, but I apologise for that, but you get fuck all for your money. Yeah. And that's ridiculous. You know, we should be getting the elderly people part of the community. Yeah. Not even the elderly. Yeah. See even, see even um, homes for children that are less fortunate, for children that are in the protection of the council. Different things like that get them involved in things because I feel like Helensborough is such the town for it and we don't do that's it what and mom, why I don't know that's what my mum told me to do. see the Christmas fair they took about I think they took they asked what residents wanted to come and what they done and they took about 30 residents down to the Christmas fair and gave them their own money to get stuff yeah but that's what that's what I mean like at the end of the day if you're paying 900 pound 1800 pound two grand a week to stay in a home you know, even if you don't remember doing something, it's still kind to take them to do it. And I don't know if you can tell that I've got quite a passion on this. Like, it genuinely makes me angry that I don't see more residents and elderly people and young people and even parents that, because obviously in this cost of living crisis, there is parents out there that really can't afford to do anything with their children. Well, why aren't we offering that as a service? You know, the Ar Argyle and Butte get, what, 400 million odd pound a year in tax and they do nothing with it. 
Like, let's, nobody fake it. They don't do nothing with it. So use it to a benefit instead of waiting until the end of the year and fixing all the roads just so they get the money again. I mean, at the end of the day, there is so much money in this world. Hundreds of billions of hundreds of trillions of pounds. Let's put it to use and start getting people out in the streets, you know, helping the elderly, helping the young, giving them more opportunities. You know, even if it was to, like I said, have a food fair thing where we bring everybody. Even families that aren't fortunate, wish, even if you're a yeah. multi-millionaire, still wish, come. I wish Helen you know? did what, when I was, I, I don't remember it because I was really young, but there's photos of it. Um, I used to live down in Portsmouth and they used to do a thing every summer where they'd bring bouncy castles, fairs, all this, and it was for free. Yeah. And you could, any kid, any adult, if the rides were a bit extreme, an adult had to be with the kid, but it was free. And you and could it, do what you want. And I'll tell you what, pe speak. people's argument would be, Oh, well, some companies wouldn't be able to afford to do that. That's fine. But we pay that much tax that the council can. They can absolutely afford to cover the bill for the whole thing. The government can cover the bill to the whole thing. Because we pay that much tax that doesn't go to anything. Nothing at all. And I know there's plenty of people that are going to go, Oh, yes, it does. It doesn't. Do your research. The amount of tax we pay goes to paying back debts that this country owes that they can't afford to pay. Or the I mean, if, if you don't believe that, look at the cost of gold. Gold is rising again, 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 because that is the currency everybody turns to, not money. Money's fake, money doesn't exist. All that exists is hard, solid gold. Also, so at the end of the day, this country could do a lot more to help people instead of residents paying 1,800 pounds a week to stay in a home there's a lot more we could be doing. Now I understand that home needs to make money, right? That's fine, charge that. But do more with the resident instead of just sitting there. You know, I have met a few residents in multiple different homes, I'm not gonna name any home, that are sitting bored at their face. And that's not okay. They might not know what they want to do, but there's plenty they can do. And even to give them a purpose, and I know that sounds quite rude, but like see to open a wee tuck shop in a, yeah. in a care home and have them run it. Even if they're not good at it, just have them run it because that gives them a sense of purpose and a sense of direction. And they're not, and I don't mean this in any mean way, but they're not a vegetable. They're not just sitting there doing nothing because they don't want to do nothing. They want to enjoy life. That's why it's a life. It's like my uh, my my mum used to work in a home that sadly shut down now because the home isn't suitable for their new needs. Um, but they used to they had a therapy horse that came in every week, and people would walk around the home mm -hmm. with it. They had guinea pigs, they had birds. It was amazing yeah. that home. And and do you know? And I'll tell you this out of my own heart that I'll disclose things we do. We've taken a lot of animals to a nursing home. I'm not going to tell you what nursing home. We've took rabbits, dogs puppies and the elderly people love it. Absolutely adore Even it. Even when I go in with Hallie, yeah. they love it because it reminds them of when they were younger and they had kids. Yeah, it's and it's and we're absolutely not against it. And I, I know plenty of people with animals. If I got a phone call tomorrow from a nursing home asking for a camel, I'll get you a camel. There, there is no stress about it. I absolutely love it when you see an elderly person or a young person with dementia or anyone that really cares to see an animal and that helps them feel happier, oh, I'm bringing it. It doesn't matter what that it is. I don't, I don't care if you ask me for a tuna in a tank, I'll find a way to bring it. is one of Isla's puppies and that dog's currently getting trained to live, like stay in that home with my mum so I can just wander around and see the residents. Which that is a good idea, more homes should take that on. I understand there's people that are allergic to animals and things like that, but that's why you check that, yeah, before you do it. <laughs> um, and you know, I was in there just not long ago, uh, maybe about a week ago. Yeah, for Christmas we, we were in there with Isla and plenty of residents saw Isla, plenty of residents loved Isla, plenty of residents saw Halley, plenty of residents loved Halley. It's just a matter of care. You know, we need to start caring more about the elderly because see at the end of the day, you know, you need to think back to when the elderly were young. They would have run laps around half of us uh -huh. any day of the week. I mean, my grandpa, God bless, uh, I lost my grandpa a few years ago. Um, 
and my grandpa was one of the most intelligent men you'd ever meet. It was amazing hearing all his stories. But my grandpa had Parkinson's, um, and watching him deteriorate is was absolutely dreadful and horrible. For me, my mum, my nan, my dad, all our family, it was horrible. But we still gave my grandpa a sense of purpose. We still had him do things, we still took him out, we still did everything he would want to do. It's just a matter of care. But we're getting off this topic because I'll get too touchy about it and too stressed about it. But I think I think we've covered all bases. I now just back. You the government had me. You just went on a radio with the government oh. money bit. <laughs> it really, really pisses me off. And I know there's plenty of people out there that will completely agree, but it really, genuinely angers me. Um, but let's get off subject. Back to a happier subject. Are you excited to go on holiday? Well, it's a wedding. Yeah, but you keep telling me there's something, and that keeps bug bugging me that there's something for my birthday. And it's really irritating me. Well, it's just a fancy dinner. So unless you want to tell me on camera, I would love to know. Well, it's just a fancy dinner. But you can't lie to the viewers. It's, it's just a fancy dinner. I've had to vlog it. It's wrong. Because you said I had to drive to the... You said I had to drive to the dinner. So I won't be able to get my camera if I need my camera. So should I bring my camera? It's wrong. Or should I? Mm-hmm. Because I want to know what it is. I don't it's believe it's that. So that's why I've got my suit out, not just for the wedding? Yeah. Okay. What do you think? I think there's more to it. Because she did tell me there might be an opportunity to film with someone. Which however means someone's coming to the wedding that I know. Or someone's meeting us for dinner. So what's the kind of script there? No, it's just dinner. I don't like the fact you're smiling because you can't lie. <laughs> What is it? I'm not doing anything, it's just enough. Okay, well, we'll trust her, but I'm most invested. Um, have you got any happier things to say now that I'm off my rant? Hallie's four months old! Yesterday. Well, yeah, yeah. Hallie was four months old yesterday, so that's amazing. Um, <laughs> I got my new kitten. Yeah, she got a kitten. That's that thing there. Have we got anything else to say or is this this video over? Or are we going to leave it and film tomorrow and add it to the video? Because we have been filming for 23 minutes. We like to run. No, we don't like to run. I just get very touchy about certain subjects. Well, another touchy subject. Why the flip have you not opened your advent calendar? <gasps> it's annoying noise. Criminal offence. What's the date? 15. Some to do 14. Yeah, because I know where that is. I can't open these things. Just. Oh wait, I'm really intelligent. Mm. <laughs> Please. Ah. Grace, this is not hard. This is not easy on the hill. Is that it? Oh, it's really good. Totally worth it. Happy? Your yeah. calendar is annoying me. No, the one above you. It's too high up. Hey, actually, you can't reach it. I can't reach it. Mm-hmm. I'm just going to pull my top down stuff, bro. Oh. When did you get taller? When did that happen? See, if you just ripped my calendar, I'd be really upset. I ripped it a wee bit. You can still hold a screw. Hopeless. Hopeless. She's completely useless. Right, well, I'm going to stop filming for just now before we get into another ah! rant. Why are you screaming? I sat on the metal. That's because you, you genuinely are brain dead. Mm -hmm. Completely brain dead. She has no logic. None. I really had to see. What's, the, what's that thing you did the other day that I couldn't believe you did? Oh. He told me a bomb moment and Oh, I know what it was. Oh, you reminded me. I saw a thing on Facebook or Instagram or TikTok, one of them. And it said, if petrol is £1.52, <laughs> if petrol is £1.52 a litre and you have a two litre car, why does it cost so much to fill it up? And I went, yeah, why does it? Did it realise an engine and a petrol tank are different litre sizes? The engine's two litres, the petrol tank could be like 180 litres. It was 180, it was a bloody semi truck. I mean, I think the pickup's probably, I don't know, 70 litres or something. I don't know, I was just saying a number, right? Actually, I don't know, maybe that's too much. What's the Beamer? 
40 I hours. Yeah. Something, can't remember. But yeah, we'll get back to you a little later on. I'm glad she's joined in for our rant. I think the rant was quite funny, but very serious at the same time. So I think everybody should really generally take that on board. Got anything else to say before I finish this bit of the, um, what's this? Episode. When I f- it's not an episode. It's not an episode. When I finish this recording. Have you got anything else to say for finishing this recording and we'll get another one posted? Or I'll get another recording done kind of soon? I'm hungry. Grace is hungry, so I definitely have to go. Um, we'll see you in the next clip. Uh, it'll be 0, 0.0 seconds for you. It'll be 16 hours for us. I hopped on here a bit earlier. Um, see if I can show you that. It's 22 past 9 um, and I did have something planned for today um, and sorry I got a snap there I did have something planned for today that fell through so that's going to be end of the that will be the end of the YouTube video so I hope you don't mind the rant yesterday um, and yeah we'll see you in the next one which hopefully it'll just be another vlog and it'll just start to get better and better and in January is when all the really cool stuff will start to happen so yeah appreciate you watching like subscribe follow for more and I'll see you in the next one apologies I just said that was the end of the video but I just wanted to catch this on camera because I thought it was funny what did you ask me to do at half nine at night? Put me a pizza on it. So you want a pizza on at half nine at night? Yeah, I'm hungry. And is that a woman thing or a grace thing? Probably a grace thing. Probably a grace thing. Because I don't know anybody else that would ask for a pizza put on at half nine at night when most people, most people with a child go to bed at 10 o'clock. Hallie said she wants a pizza as well. Oh, Hallie said she wants a pizza, a pizza made of milk. So a pizza made of milk? Yeah. Right, well that's ideal. Right, well I'll catch back up with you guys in two minutes just once I've put the pizza back on and then it really will be the end of the video. Grace, I went in our fridge and I happened to find a Tesco's cheese, what's that feast? Tesco's cheese feast. Is that to your standards? What's the other one? Tesco's cheese feast. You know you would give me a meat feast? Not quite sure what the difference is. One just got like pepperoni on it. No, one's got loads of meat on it, like ham, chicken, beef. Well, uh, no need to be ungrateful. I put effort into that. No, you bought that because you wanted cheese pizza. Yeah, but I don't want cheese pizza just now, but I'll make you cheese pizza if you want cheese pizza. Yeah. Because you'll see in one of these clips, Hallie's face was like, I could have that. It's not made of milk. Technically, yes it is. No, she is starting food, so. Yeah, maybe not pizza. No, she's starting puree. Little porridge and little fruit pouches and vegetable pouches. Ideal. Right, well I'll catch back up with you once I stick this in the oven and then yeah, it really... Was she sick? What? Was she uh, sick? Yes, she was. Let me just grab a wave. And then I really will... Where are the wipes? You Sorry, I have no symptoms. Um, then I really will end the video. But Grace is now going to clean Hallie off because she was just a wee bit sick. No big deal. Oh my Happens all the time. And I'll stick this on and I'll catch back up with you just once I've stuck this on and then it really will be the end of the video. Right, well that really is the end of the video. Grace's cheese pizza. Getting lunched in the oven for a little bit and we'll get back to it. But that really genuinely is the end of the video. I'm not sure you can see me, but we'll go to break the good news to Grace that her pizza is in and cooking and that will definitely make you very happy that's Housekeeping for certain you is that good Ali? is that good so i appreciate everybody for watching i apologize that there was a few i'll get copyrighted so maybe don't for two minutes um but i apologize that there was a couple more clips in the end there just wanted to get that on on camera because i thought that was quite funny and it'll be good for Hallie to look back in the future and see that her parents were mental. Am I wrong there? I'm not mental. I had a child to be a child. I like the logic. So I appreciate you for watching, like and subscribe and we will 100% see you in the next one which should be in a few days. See you soon.